So, welcome back to the shop. Now, this is going to be a bit different one than the last few videos, what we have been doing. So, um, let's say that you want to make these uh, some sort of a radio connector, cable for a radio modem or, or microwave transmission or whatever. And you just made it, and you're a bit uncertain, like, well, how did it turn out? Um, testing radio cables is a bit difficult, let's be true. Because the proper way would be to use some kind of receiver and, uh, you know, go through and, and measure how much attenuation you have and stuff like that. But uh, what if you're not really into that? What if you want to instead, uh, you know, just do like quickie because those testers are expensive. Well, one thing that is <coughs> almost universally true for all of these coaxial RF cables is that they shouldn't be shorted. If you short one out, it's not going to be any good. So. One way to do it is to, you know, uh, try to measure the and this can be done, but usually you manage to short something out because you have to be sure that your probes aren't shorting out anything. And you see this one is good, but as you saw that was a bit fiddly. So what I have got here is a quite common device. Uh, it's a... I think they use these for oscilloscopes. It's basically a BNC to... BNC to uh, these banana plug adapters. And this can be plugged into your multimeter. So now you have a BNC adapter. And then you can get all sorts of different adapters for that, to adapt B and C to whatever it is you need. For example, this happens to be an N standard cable. So we're going to get an N to B and C adapter. And try, and try again. This is a bit, you know, fiddly, because you have to get the right locking lock, because it's a bayonet. So now we have a, an suddenly an N type and then we can you know screw that onto our fitting I said we can screw that to our fitting or is this something I don't know just a bit you know stiff and as you can see now our multimeter still measures Okay, but what if it wasn't okay? Well, if you short out this center pin, you can get a bit of resistance. And you see it drops almost to zero because it's very short. And what you want to see without anything connected to the other end of the connector with this sort of setup is a uh, complete open circuit, overload, it's chosen these flukes, if you want a noisy environment or whatever, or not, <laughs> yeah, you want, you can't reach the meter display very easily, then you can also use a, a you know, the standard diode tester, beeper, continuity tester, and you don't want any continuity, you want an open circuit, which this is, so this cable is actually good, and this isn't the, like, you don't know if you got, you know, any sort of weird stuff going on. At least you know the cable is at the most basic level sound. Uh, if it then, you know, isn't performing as well, mm, that's harder to test. And an old look, but if you just made a cable, you have a new cable with known, you know, uh, characteristics, attenuation per meter and stuff like that, you basically just want to know did you get a piece of the shield stuck? Uh, 
with the connector when you crimped it. So this is just when you, you know, this stuff, the stuff you can, that, because that's usually what's wrong. If you get everything else right, then, and also by doing this, actually, get a bonus check that I didn't, almost didn't mention. What you're basically doing when you short out the other end like this, you're also testing that this center pin and the ground or shield is unbroken through the whole circuit. So that's a nice bonus test because if either one would be open, well, the shield is probably not going to be open, it's more likely to be shortened to the center pin. But you could actually get like some weird connectivity issues, so you don't have a good connectivity there. Because now if we put this into the ohms range, I don't know if you can see that, but we get it down to less than an 0, 0 0.2 or something. It's really good conduct conductivity, or no re resistance to speak of. Then we know that the cable is okay, so you also got the center conductor working. So, there we go. Quite a neat test, wouldn't you say? So, and as I said, it's nothing more than a BNC to banana plug adapter, probably t meant to you know, be used on, on, uh, okay, there we go, but be used on oscilloscopes and stuff like that, but it works for this as well. And then just a big pile of different adapters. I usually screw them together like this because, you know, it's easier to, you know, have them in one big thing like this instead of carrying them around individually. So, there you go, how to test do a basic continuity test on your RF cables without faffing about with the meter leads, pokey bits in there. Yeah. Yes, thank you for watching, have a nice evening.